hi guys welcome to my channel thank you for joining me today i'm Anne. this is scent solutions underscore me we talk about affordable fragrances here so if that's your jam you're in the right place today we're talking about this beauty which is mesmeric essence from pandora scents if you don't know pandora scents they are a middle eastern i'll call them a dupe house because that's pretty much what they do can you tell what this perfume is duping before i let you know Tell me in the comments. This is the pack. Okay, so this might give you some more insight as to what this perfume is duping. Okay, so I'm going to be talking about this in comparison to, let me let the cat out of the bag, Hypnotic Poison, which, you know, it is a dupe of. And um, yeah, let's go right into it with the notes. So the notes of this perfume pretty much the same as that of hypnotic poison so this is coconut plum and apricot in the opening and then goes into white floral so your jasmine tuberose lily of the valley and then there's rose in here as well as brazilian rose wood at the base you've got vanilla almond sandalwood and musk which i think is really the essence of this perfume so in terms of how i experience the scent Mesmeric Essence starts off with a sharp blast of alcohol, so you have to be prepared for that. And then up front, right off the bat, I'm getting the almond. So the almond scent is quite prominent in this one. It's going to give you almond. It's going to start to give you the woodiness up front and the musk. And then somewhere, I would say like three to five minutes in, the white florals come out now it's not a discernible white floral in the sense that you know there's a white floral in here but to me like i didn't readily pick up tuberose you know there are perfumes where when you smell the tuberose you know it's tuberose and all that but i didn't pick that up here i just knew there was a white floral in here now did i pick up the rose not really as much as the white florals there's also a bit of spiciness in here as well as woodiness. So you're gonna pick up that almond, pick up the nuttiness, the woods, the musky tones. And then of course, as it starts to dry further down, maybe from 15 to 30 minutes there on, you're gonna pick up the vanilla. So it starts to get sweeter, it starts to get cozier, it starts to get more enveloping. And it starts to get very sexy. So in my opinion, the way this perfume evolves, it almost feels like it evolves from the base notes up, or at least that's how I experienced this, right? So that plum and all that will come through with the vanilla. I don't necessarily get coconut right off the bat, but if you pay attention, you will feel it somewhere in the background, right? So there's plum in here as well. Plum is a very sexy note in perfumes and I enjoy it a whole lot in perfumes. Like it gives that a sexy, playful, sort of fruity tone to perfumes. Now let's get to the comparison with Hypnotic Poison by Dior. Hypnotic Poison by Dior, I mean, if you know designer perfumes, if you like designer perfumes, you would have heard about it. I have like a love-hate relationship with this perfume. When I first got it, I didn't understand it. It had this play-doh feel that I wasn't quite sure of. But now, I totally love it, especially in cold weather. It's very warm and enveloping. Now, how does this perfume smell or differ I would say it's the alcohol blast that really sets this apart in the opening. So in the opening, the alcohol blast, you know, is quite prominent in mesmeric essence. For hypnotic poison, you experience it in a bit more of a natural smelling way. So it's, you're not getting that alcohol. You're getting the nuttiness. You're getting that musky tone. But it feels like the almond in mesmeric essence is more of a more bitter species than what you have in hypnotic poison. That's just what it feels like to my nose, right? So you're going to get that almond, but it's not going to hit you as sharply as 
it does in mesmeric essence. That's like the main difference to me in the opening. But in terms of the evolution from that nutty, woody muskiness into the white florals, the plum and all that, it's pretty much the same scent evolution that you have in both perfumes. So I'd give it that. In terms of how they smell, to be honest, I'd say that Mesmeric Essence is like an 80 to 85% dupe of Hypnotic Poison. Pretty much smell very similar. It's just that Hypnotic Poison is a bit more subtle and it's less screechy, if I could use those words. Now, let's compare performance. So, longevity-wise, I would say that I got better longevity from Mesmeric Essence. So, I got about 6 hours on my skin, 8 hours to 10 on clothes but of course i sprayed generously so i would say i sprayed between um six to ten sprays and it gave me that result for hypnotic poison maybe about four hours on skin yeah and um on my clothes i believe i got about uh, let's say six to eight hours so it's just a slight difference in terms of longevity but Projection wise, I would say they both project similarly. I would say moderate projection. I would say that um, in the first hour, hour and a half, this will pretty much fill up the room. But of course, as it starts to dry down, it gets a little bit more closer to the skin. But you're still going to leave a scent trail. Like when you go walk past anybody, they're going to smell you. Whenever I have this on, I catch whiffs of it in the course of the day. And people actually have commented on this perfume. So I believe it does the job in terms of um, just projection and creating that sillage and whatnot. Now, when it comes to, um, I would say, weather, this is more of a cold weather perfume, in my opinion. I mean, you can wear your perfumes whenever, but I feel like this kind of shines better in the cold because it creates that warm enveloping feel especially as the vanilla starts to come through you know that mix of vanilla and nuts and the powderiness that is created that sexy plum all of that kind of shines through in cold weather to me is it a unisex perfume i mean hypnotic poison originally is marketed as a feminine perfume but I feel like anyone really can wear this if you if you're somebody who likes that uh, nutty powdery slight sweetness to your perfumes with vanilla you will like this perfume so there you have it my take on mesmeric essence by Pandora scent I think it's a very good dupe like I said 80 to 85 percent similar to hypnotic poison so if you're on a budget and you want to get a sense of how this perfume smells i mean mesmeric essence is your jam so if you've used this let me know i'd love to hear from you in the comments until i see you on another video enjoy the rest of your day or night bye guys